Hello everyone and welcome to Cabbage Patch Soap. My name is Laura and today I will be making tuberose soap. These are the colors I'll be using. And this is going to be part of the Magical March collection. So this is the lye water going into the oils. The oils I use are vegan and organic. I'm just going to stickle blend them together. Since I'll be dividing this into three batches, I'm going to just get the oil and lye mixed together. I'm not going to attempt to get it to a thick trace or anything. I want this soap to stay fluid. So here I'm dividing the soap batter approximately evenly. And this is the pink going in. This is a really pretty pale pink. I have this blue color and the gold. And of course the gold turns to a, like a matte yellow color once the soap sets up. And I'm just gonna mix these in by hand first. This helps the mica not turn into a big powdery um, cloud. If I put the stick blender in right away, sometimes it kicks the powder up in the air and blending it by hand first helps reduce that. Here I'm just blending these in with a stick blender to make sure that the colors are evenly dispersed. And that was also the fragrance oil that I put in. Tuberose has a very magical floral fragrance. It's like a white floral with tropical blossom notes. It's a very pretty fragrance. So I'm going to do an in the pot swirl. I've poured all three colors into one pot and swirled it lightly. And now I'm just going to pour it into the mold after I knock out some of these air bubbles. And I'm going to pour this into the mold from different points to help give it a more unique pattern inside. I'm just topping off the mold here. I'm just going to clean up the edges of the mold. It makes it a little bit easier after I take the soap out of the mold and cut it. It gives me a lot less to clean up afterwards. I'm just going to finish up tidying up the edges here now that the soap has thickened a little bit. And I just sped up this footage so you wouldn't have to watch it in real time. I'm just going to take one of my soap towels and finish cleaning up the edges. I think it looks really satisfying when the mold has been cleaned up around the edges. And here I'm just going to spray on some, uh, like a shimmer on top. This will just give the top a pretty accent. And I'm going to use this chopstick to give the top a texture. It's not going to make a, like a very distinct pattern. It's going to be more like a subtle texture, which I think will look really pretty. And here it is up close. And here we are the next day to cut it open. And you can see the texture from the top from the swirling. 
Okay, we're just gonna slice it into bars. And here it is. I think this looks really pretty. To me it looks kind of like a flower garden or flower petals all mixed together. I think it's really pretty. You can see the pink and then that golden yellow color and the blue. I think they all look really nice together. And here's the last bar. And then these are the little sample pieces for the ends. I'll cut them up later and turn them into samples. And I went ahead and put a stamp on this soap as well. If you'd like a bar of this soap, it'll be available on March 1st. And thank you for watching. You have a great day.